Hello everyone, it's Citizen here. Welcome to a brand new video in the series for today. We are building a pier with a yacht boat. So yeah, I know I'm super proud of this build. I'm gonna, I'm gonna toot my own horn for a second here, but I'm super, super, super excited for you guys to see it because it took me a while to get it right exactly as I wanted. And I know that it's a little bit of a weird idea, but I also know that other people did it. So, you know, it, it's not a super original, I'll admit it. Um, but I did, uh, f I got this idea when I was scrolling through the debug catalog uh, one day and I saw that we actually have a lot of boats in our debug catalog because we have some boats from Cats and Dogs and we got some boats with Island Living. So obviously we have pretty much like 10-ish boat different boats in our catalog and I was like, you know, that's kind of Cute. We could do something with that and I immediately wrote down to do a pier with like a, a club like a, a rich people club where you can bring your boat and your yachts and uh, you know you know those kind of um, boat uh, clubs I guess you would call it a boat club uh, that was my idea behind it so obviously I decided to start with the pier and to build a boat I know that the boat itself is not super crazy I know that other people built boats and uh, made other like luxury yachts but um, I really really wanted to try it as well myself just because I really wanted to see as well uh, what kind of boats I could make with the stuff that we have in game and you know I wanted to make it also like a house so this is 100% livable space uh, you can live in this lot uh, and I did upload it as a residential lot so uh, you can just get it right now. Uh, it's up on the gallery. You can use hashtag CitySimics like here on YouTube, bubble.spaces, or my ID, which is CitySimics like here on YouTube, bubble.spaces. Everything is also in the, the description down below, so if you want to check that out as well. So, here right now, I am taking out from the debug menu all the stuff that I'm thinking of using for um, this pure space. And as you saw, I'm placing all, some of the boats. Those are not all the boats that we have in game. Uh, there are other boats, but I really wanted to like get the ones that I wanted in game already out. Um, and uh, it was kind of hard to make a boat, to be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, but in the end, we get this luxury yacht with two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Uh, one is a master bedroom for the parents and the other is a child bedroom so there are two actually two uh, beds for the children so if you wanted to load this house just so you know it can host four sims and uh, there are so many activities that you can do there are so many computers I try to place uh, some TVs of course uh, there are uh, motorbike not motorbikes water bikes would you, would you call it Moto moto bikes mo no moto bikes is not the word uh, like the bikes that go on water how would you call them in English I'm losing my mind anyway um, there are a couple of those uh, there is a pool which is pretty crazy uh, I wanted to, to be very bougie uh, so I did place a pool there is also a hot tub as well uh, so there's really a lot of luxury items for you and your Sims to enjoy. And there is of course a full kitchen, a dining room, and there is uh, a living room, and a, I guess a cabin for the captain. Uh, so in my mind, obviously, um, if this is my, obviously my imagination, but you could do whatever, um, I did build uh, a captain's cabin for the captain to control the boat and everything, uh, with in mind the idea that um, there is an external sim that comes and drives the boat. Obviously the boat is not drivable, it's not a real boat, it's just a house that looks like a boat. Um, and it's also attached to the pier, so technically you cannot even leave if you wanted to, <laughs> I guess. Um, but in my mind, obviously it's a real boat, it's a real big luxury yacht, so you need a space for the captain. And I don't think that the people that own the boat actually want to drive the boat, so they would hire someone to do it. So that's like their space and it's all like cabins and um, stuff like that. So sorry about this waiting moment. I forgot to, I, right now I'm finding this place, this, po this moment here. I did forget to stop recording for a second uh, while I was uh, thinking about other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> so sorry for this little pause. But anyway, um, I also tried to make the top of the boat 
as like rustic like that that part here like the top that you see right here i tried to make it look like a real thing like um i was looking for pictures of yachts online and i didn't want to keep the top of the yacht like weirdly modern and uh, nice and livable as the rest of the boat because usually at the top of the boat you would have like machinery and other stuff like that so that's exactly what i tried to do there are satellites so you would help with like the information for the boat like uh satellites uh, satellite pictures and satellite information and uh I, I, you know, all the, all the stuff that you need to help with the instruments that you need to navigate. And uh, I also placed a lot of uh, uh, vents and other stuff to make it feel like it's aerating the entire boat, since part of the boat is also kind of underwater. Just so, like, it's kind of an imaginary thing, I guess. Um, and for the interior of the boat, I tried to keep it as modern as I could. Obviously, it's not like super hyper modern, but it's pretty, pretty modern still. Uh, I, I'd still call it pretty modern, yeah. Um, and I try to place uh, all the stuff in a like normal, like that it makes sense. Uh, since this is a boat, technically, um, I also feel like I placed a lot of stuff that shouldn't really be on this boat, just because that it when the boat goes around, maybe it gets rocked by the water, some stuff could move. But imagine that every single item in this uh, boat is bolted so that it doesn't move. I guess that would be like the thing that you would do with this. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just blabbering, I realized. Um, I tried to make a little console table here that was a little bit interesting, so something a little bit different from uh, what it, the original item is, just so, so because I, I had a little bit more space. Uh, so I wanted it to be may, uh, make it a little bit bigger, and I did try in this build especially to mesh and push together very different types of furniture to make it look a little bit more interesting and a little bit more fun. And to since you know I always use the same kind of items because we only have certain kind of items in game, obviously. Um, I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting with some, I guess, quote unquote, custom furniture. And uh, yeah, this most, more or less is the entrance slash living room of the boat. It's pretty cozy, it's pretty cute. Uh, so now we're moving on into the captain's cabin. So this would be the main cabin uh, where the boat is controlled and managed and there are all the information that you need. Um, I'm pretty pleased with how it looks in the end. Right now it's a little bit rough still. Um, I did manage to change it a little bit. Um, I'm also placing a computer as you can see. Um, and some like screens so it feels like there is a lot of commands and stuff that you can do and uh, a, a radio which I know it's technically like a stereo not a, a radio but in my mind it could also be a radio so you know yeah and again a lot of documents that feels like maps uh, a diary for the diary on board uh, this uh, metal box that I feel like it would contain some uh, other inf like main uh, information about the boat like maybe it's the power managing thing and um, right now you see me place all these lights uh, from I guess those are from the free pack uh, the free uh, the, like holiday pack if I'm not mistaken I've, I thought th those were actual lights, they're just decorative, so I do change them out for actual lights in the end, so uh, just so you know, it, they don't stay there forever. And I also placed a little wheel, so it feels like it's the actual wheel for the boat, I know that today you know, there are literally no boats that actually have that, uh, I, I mean, no, it's not true that there aren't any boats that use like those old school wheels, but usually boats right now don't have that kind of looking wheel they have like actual wheels like on the steering wheels like on like cars but you know uh i i i didn't have a steering wheel a car steering wheel to place there but i had that so i did place it and um there's this nice screen from strangerville as well that i placed that is super super useful just because it really looks like a map uh, with like uh, sonar information, it feels like that. So it was very, very, very cool, and I very, very much enjoyed placing that one. 
and uh, yeah, I, I try to make it as, as full as possible and look as realistic as possible with what we have in game, obviously. So yeah, it's a little bit of a weird captain room, I guess, but it's fine. It's a nice little room. And um, I'm placing another, this is the spy satellite actually from Strangerville, but I really like the look, the look of it, so I did place it as well. Uh, right now we're moving on downstairs. This is gonna be the kitchen dining room. Uh, so we are, are gonna have this nice, beautiful big kitchen and a nice dining table and also a bar. Uh, yeah, all fitting in this point of the boat. I'm, I know, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, but I really, really, really like how this kitchen turns out in the end. Uh, again, sorry for the pause. I was doing something else. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what happened to me with this um, build, especially. It took me so long to get it exactly as I wanted. But obviously, at the end of the video, there are going to be the screenshots. So you can see everything that I did. I did a lot of it also off camera because otherwise... I'm not kidding, with all the stuff that I changed and managed and changed around and changed again and went back and changed again, I was super indecisive and uh, with all those stuff going on, this video would have been like 40 minutes long and it doesn't make sense to do a 40 minutes build video for this little boat. Um, so that's why there are a lot of cuts uh, and I forgot to pause this, I don't know why I forgot to pause this, I should have cut them out but sorry. This, for this time, maybe next time I'm gonna cut them out. Um, but uh, these are gonna be the bedrooms, and each bedroom has a bathroom. Um, so I guess those are two ensuites. Um, but I think it makes sense to have a bathroom and a bedroom so it feels like a, a, a whole cabin. And uh, this is the master bedroom right here, and I tried to make it feel like a whole, like, colossal piece of furniture right behind the bed, the bed. Uh, that was my idea and hopefully the feel of it works. There's like the bookcase, the little thing, the, the wardrobe, I guess it kind of feels like a whole piece, piece. That was the idea behind it because usually on both cabin you don't have like single pieces of furniture, you have like one big console and some other stuff and the bed and uh, that's exactly what I wanted to do. So for the bathrooms, I try to make them as luxurious and fancy as possible. So there are a lot of fancy items, there is big mirrors, the, um, all the stuff is very modern and chic. I really, really like these bathrooms and basically it's the same kind of bathroom, uh, just changing a little bit of the colors and the, the orientation and layout, but there are the same items and the same kind of stuff. Uh, inside each bathroom just so that it feels like it's the same it, and it makes sense again since it's supposed to be a cabin uh, you wouldn't have cabins with different kind of bathrooms unless they have like different like um, you have different classes but it, this is a private boat so you wouldn't have different classes so it makes sense to have both bathrooms be fancy and cool this bedroom right here this is the children's bedroom there are gonna be two beds as I said and uh, again, I tried to make some max, mixed meshed furniture as uh, I tried to do for the master bedroom, just so that uh, it feels like it's a, an actual cabin and it makes sense. And um, as I did for the parents, that they did at a desk with the computer, there is also a computer right here. And we are going to have actually another computer in another space around the pool that it's coming up right after this. Uh, so this is definitely like the children's bedroom. You can see there is a colorful bookcase. There are some nice decoration. Um, there is the toy chest. Uh, but obviously this is my mind, not their main house. It would be like a second house, quote unquote, because it's a yacht, it's not a house. Uh, but they wouldn't actually live here all the time. Like when they take this out for a vacation or uh, when they want to go somewhere by boat, they would come, come here, use it as a house temporarily, as you would do for a yacht. I don't think people actually live on yacht. I know there are houseboats in the world that are actually houses and they are boats at the same time. Those are make sense, but I don't think people actually live all the time on yachts. I think they're just for vacationing and stuff like that. So that was my idea behind it. I'm not sure, maybe there are people that actually live on yachts, but... Um, you know, I, this is not a houseboat, it's a yacht, so 
I wanted to make it feel like it's just vacation home. And that's also why it's in Solani. I know Solani is not a vacation word, uh, but I feel like it could be, it really easily could be. So, you know, that is my reason behind it. And this room, I guess, are all around the pool. That uh, This was the hardest part to furnish 100% um, super weird space, super tight, not really a lot of stuff that we could do except for decoration with uh, paintings, so there are a lot of paintings. I guess it would be good if you have the aspiration for Mansion Baron because I think you actually need like 15 paintings um, for uh, that aspiration, so that would be good. for With this house you would get that. Uh, so right here you can see I'm placing another desk and here is the last computer part. Um, of the house. So there are three computers as I said. There is a piano that I forgot uh, and you saw me place that a second ago and as I said there are gonna be the water bikes. I'm gonna call them water bikes. I'm not sure that's the right term but I'm gonna call them water bikes and um, I yeah I, I very very much had a lot of fun uh, with this build. I'm very very pleased with it and uh, again if you want to download it it is up on the gallery and again if there are gonna be screenshots I know we are close to the screenshots uh, but you can see right here I'm placing out the motorbikes and um, again I said motorbikes water bikes and here I realized that those lights aren't really lights so I'm using these lights from uh, the toddler stuff back and I'm placing them a little bit randomly like placing them inside inside the columns that we have um, just so they actually light up the space and make it look cool and of course there are some chairs some chaise longs around for you to like get your son in and there is a bar because I feel like it makes sense to have a bar area near the pool and hot tub and uh, yeah, those walls, I, I had a lot of trouble finding something to place on that. In the end, I decided for these plants uh, from Jungle Adventures. Um, I think those are fine. They're not the best option, but we didn't really have anything else. And I didn't really like having that wall completely blank. Um, so yeah, those are fine in the end. Uh, I'm placing this little coverture uh, there and more sh like chairs for uh, the outside here at the front. Not trying not to cover up the front of the uh, cabin for the uh, captain so that the captain can obviously see when they do it, uh, when they go around. And here we are placing the stuff for the uh, last boats um, that, that to make it makes this little pier make sense so they're not just hanging there, so they are actually like tied up. And I'm placing some more debug stuff on, especially this blue one right here, because it's definitely like a fishing boat. Um, yeah, and I think they work out and they look pretty cute. And I'm pleased with it, how it actually looks in the end. And I decided to place a couple of other stuff. Those flags, pole, the flag poles, those are very, very cool. And they work very, very well. I don't know why, but I feel like they're very, like, they're very, like, spot on. Uh, I was thinking of doing some coral reefs here, uh, but at the same time was like, why would they place this lot, like this pier, where there are col coral reefs, because the bottom of the boat would get scraped and the boat would sink. So it doesn't make sense, so I didn't place it in the end. Um, but I do place this little broken fence that I really, really love. There is a toilet, the public toilet as well. Because it makes sense, like this is a place where you come to get your boat, so if you want to go to the toilet, you don't really have to use the boat, you can also use the public toilet. Um, and again, a lot of decoration, a lot of plants, um, especially like very tropical plants. I'm gonna also place some palm trees, and uh, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with the final result. I think we're going to do screenshots in not too long because I'm placing some plants, and then we are actually placing some terrain painting and we're done. Uh, so just finishing off some more um, terrain painting and uh, stuff. Oh, I actually, I just did it. So yeah, I didn't record the terrain painting, but here are the screenshots. This is the lot with the pier and the luxury yacht. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, I know it's not the super most amazing, incredible, um, unique build, because I know that other people made boats, but I really, really, really like the pier. Uh, I don't think I've seen piers as well. I think I only just saw like boats, uh, like yachts, 
with like their own pier, like not this actual like full on marina style thing. And that is uh, the vibe that I was going for. I also like that there is a boat in the background that I didn't place, it's just in the game. So that was a big plus for me. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. You can let me know in the comments down below what you think about this build. What are your favorite parts? Would you have this boat for yourself? Would you live here? Uh, would you live on a yacht? Because I'm not sure if you can live on a yacht. I'm still wondering that. I guess if you can live on a houseboat, uh, you could live on a yacht, but I also think that people that own yachts also own like mansions and they feel like the mansion is better and I feel like the mansion would be better. So, you know. And here is the kitchen, you can see it now since most of it got cut. And yeah, I, I really, really like it. I'm Hopefully you guys like it as well. I really like this master bedroom as well. I really like the blue and the dark wood. Those contrast so well. In my opinion, they go together amazingly. So those are a big plus for me. And um, I really like it. I think it's super luxurious and probably very unrealistic because of the amount of stuff that I placed in. Um, but if I didn't do all the stuff that I did, probably would look a little bit empty and a little bit weird. So, you know, I'm gonna say that I did sacrifice a little bit of the realistic possibility of this house existing just to make it look good. Uh, so hopefully you guys agree that it looks good because I, I sure hope you do because it looks good to me. So you know, uh, but we are basically done, uh, this is just the place around the boat and I think I have some more screenshots of the outside now, a little bit of the pool area, you can see all the lights that I placed in the end, um, they're kind of mixed in together but I really like how it looks in the end and uh, yeah, I really really enjoy it, hopefully you guys enjoy it as well, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed please leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, put on notifications so that you know when the next video is coming out, I'm gonna do also some more crazy builds so let me know in the comments below what kind of builds you would like me to see i have some ideas in mind already uh, but if you have anything in mind let me know and uh hopefully you guys will enjoy my videos thank you so much for watching and bye bye, -bye.